Alright, so today I'm going to give you five things that I hate about my Golf GTI. So number one, this car in particular doesn't have the optional Xenon headlights. So we just have the standard bulbs in this and it's not great at all. So if you're going down a bit of a dark country road, it just the, the standard headlights just don't light up the roads as much as you would like them to. I have put in some upgraded bulbs, which made a slight difference, but it's still not brilliant. So if you're looking to buy one of these cars, I would make sure you really take the time and find a version that has the Xenons, which were a factory option. So the second thing I hate about my Golf GTI is it's really lacking a lot of modern features. I know the car's 10 years old, but I think at the time it could still have came with a number of these options. What I would really like to see would be Bluetooth for phone connectivity. It's really frustrating if you go from driving, like if you get a second car for example that has some of the, this modern technology and then you get back into the Golf, it's really something you miss. You don't think of it at the time, but once you get used to things like Bluetooth and iPod connectivity, which is my second point, if I had a USB socket, so you could play your music through the stereo, it would make a world of a difference. So the third thing I hate about my Golf GTI, which follows on from my last point, is that there's no built-in sat-nav in this car. Now I'm not sure if this was an option from the factory, but this car in particular certainly doesn't have the sat-nav. I'm sure you could retrofit one yourself, but just now I just use a Garmin sat-nav that I plug into the cigarette lighter. And it does the job, but it's still just not ideal. Sometimes the cables get in the way around the gear stick, and it just really causes a bit of hassle. So the fourth thing that I hate about my Golf GTI is the suspension's relatively stiff for an everyday car. So it's not too bad day to day if you're driving on motorways or modern roads, but if you find yourself down some back roads that haven't really been too well maintained, and particularly if you hit a pothole that you didn't notice, it really does feel as though your spine's been shattered a bit. So the fifth and final thing that I hate about my Golf GTI is if you're driving spiritedly on some country roads, the fuel efficiency is just really not great at all. So cruising on motorways, dual carriageways, if you're just taking it easily, you can sometimes get up to 40 miles per gallon, which is great for a hot hatch. But if you're on some country roads, and if you're really pushing the car hard, you can easily find yourself in the sort of high teens, around about sort of 18, 19 miles per gallon if you're going for it. So I really had to rack my brains to find faults with this car for the video today, because overall it's fantastic. And if you've seen the previous video, you'll know that I really do love this car. But like any car, nothing is perfect so those were my five things that i hate about the mark 5 golf gti so that's all for today i've shared my five things that i hate about my golf gti with you i hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video